Hey, good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Anybody out there can't sleep like me? Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I'm so disturbed today, you guys. It's early in the morning where I'm at. I'm just, um, I can't sleep. Um. And I'm I'm constantly thinking about uh, Sade Robinson, and I'm pissed that sh- this case is really not getting as much traction as I think it should have. So, like I told you before, I'm gonna use my platform, however I can, to help uh, the Scarborough family, the Robinson family, um, the friends. Of uh, uh, Sade or Sheena, and it's really important that they know that she knows that ain't nobody forgot about her daughter, and we seek justice. I want this story to never die. I want it to stay in the airwaves, um, because this, if this was a a different type of girl, there's no way in the world this wouldn't be on the news at least once a week, if not more, okay? Like Natalie Holloway, you remember that? This is a story far more hideous, far more disturbing, and the suspect, the main leading suspect, had it planned all the time, and he's a white freak, a Jeffrey Dahmer type. And yeah, I done went through this before with Jeffrey Dahmer. That's why I'd be damned if we just sit back and wait for these Keystone cops that we have here. And I'm sorry. I'm saying it as a family member of law and of a law enforcement uh, representative. A lot of them have gone on to diff- different jurisdictions because of the of the corruption here. Yeah, I said it. I said it. This case is not in the media, and it's not in the media because Sade was a black girl. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I mean, racism is a freaking disease. And those of y'all who perpetrate it, who keep it going on and don't make it a crime or don't make it a fine for people who do and say and like like Iceland make there be some consequences for your racist behavior and obviously a lot of y'all don't care about this you're not out here for this child that 19 years old and ran into a 33 year old freak and I'm hearing people saying, well, why did she go to his house? And, okay, what 19-year-old? A lot of them would do that. I'm not putting the judgment on it one way or the other. Hell, he might have put some drugs in her damn drink at the Twisted Fisherman. That made it easy for her to follow him. I don't know, and you don't either. I just know that her going to his house in whatever condition she went there don't deserve her to come up dead are you freaking kidding me Ah, I can't sleep in my spirit and when I see Sheena whether she's on Nancy Grace or you know they pop up and have her on local news or something I She's just so hurt, and her hurt jumps out through the damn screen because she she can't nobody can handle what happened to her, this family. And the only thing I can say, and 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 this is no disrespect, so you might can feel some kind of connection. You know, um, it's very difficult. To really 
put somebody to rest all the way where you can't find their body parts and you know what happened. I get it. But if you kind of think about sometimes soldiers who go away and they get blown up or um, they don't they don't have the body parts or very few you're going to have to look at Sade as that type of sacrifice at that type of uh, with I mean with that type of influence because Yeah, you know, it's 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 so devastating. It's so devastating to know you done lost your child and they've been cut up in pieces and sit, thrown all throughout the city of Milwaukee. Pieces on sliding boards at kids' school. Pe- pieces on the railroad tracks. Uh, people, this this mother, this dude, this dude. The trial starts in October, y'all. I'm going to do my best to be right there. And um, that being said, if you like what you hear, like, I got to go subscribe and share. And my heart and prayers go out to Sheena Scarborough. Again, rest in peace, Sade. To the Robinson family, to the Scarborough family, to all Sade's friends and families and all the staff at Pizza Hut. I haven't been able to pull myself to go in there since this happened. Uh, I just... Y'all, pray for them. And pray for us here at Milwaukee. Like I said before, we we wasn't even over Jeffrey Dahmer here. And now here we go with some more stuff. And then from the looks of it, since there was other blood in the basement of this freak's house, we're going to have to start looking into a lot of missing black women here in Milwaukee. So, pray for us, y'all, family. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the next video.